Today I'm going to show you how to get a developer job without experience. So no matter what your level is right now, I'm going to show you how to go from zero all the way to highly paid remote developer. So how do we do this? Well, I'm not going to focus on like, you have to learn HTML, you have to learn CSS, you have to learn JavaScript, you have to learn React, you have to learn Redux. I'm not going to talk about that. But I'm going to talk about something else, which is your brain. Why am I going to talk about that? Because that's the most important thing. Like literally, the only difference between me and you, or you and Jeff Bezos, and me and Jeff Bezos, is the way we think, the way we perceive things, okay? And I'm going to give you an analogy. So if you ever seen like an obese person, and then you have someone that's extremely fit on the other side, if you take the brain of the extremely fit person and you put it in the obese person, and then the other way around, now, the obese person is going to become extremely fit in probably a year and the extremely fit person is going to become obese in one, e one year. Why is that? Because of their beliefs and the way they are doing things, okay? So, the most important thing, it's not tactics and like technologies that you need to learn and whatever to become a developer and to become anything you want, but it's your brain. It starts with your brain, how you perceive things and how you approach things, okay? Because a bunch of people have desires. You want to make six figures, this other guy wants to make six figures, everyone on the street wants to make that. The wagey guy from McDonald's wants to make six figures, the waiter wants to make six figures, everyone wants the same thing, right? But the difference between the persons who are making it happen and the persons who are just wishing for is their belief system and the way they are approaching everything. Because I can tell you, Today you have to do HTML and CSS and then you have to copy the Apple website as I mentioned in my previous video and you won't do it. Why? Because you do not believe you can do it and you do not have a commitment. Everyone desires that six figures career where you can work remotely and whatnot and some people want it and they have a commitment as well. They actually have to do it otherwise it hurts. But most people, probably you, it doesn't hurt bad enough to be stuck in a crappy job where you don't get paid what you want. Maybe your top salary in your current industry is 70K while the starting salary as a web developer is 80K. Isn't that hurting you knowing that maybe you are a 24 year old and your career prospects are like the maximum that you can get from your career is what a minimum developer would actually get in their first year without any experience. Isn't that hurting you a little bit? and knowing that you have to spend like 500 bucks per month to travel. Well, why am I talking about hurting? Am I trying to fear monger you? But I'm trying to create some urgency because if you do not create this urgency for yourself, then nobody else can do it, okay? No matter how many Tony Robbins speeches you are watching, no matter what the hell you are doing, if you do not realize and you do not come to the conclusion that, hey, I need to do something with myself, otherwise I'm gonna be stuck in here, in this position, in this job, forever. Like the best way to realize and to understand how your life is gonna be in 10 years from now is to look at the people that you are working with that have been doing the same job as you for the past 10 years. You'll be exactly the same as them. Same problems, same money problems, same health problems, probably the same holidays, same apartment. And if you see them sad and frustrated and whatnot, Trust me, you'll be there as well. There's nothing special about you that you'll be like somehow uh, relieved from having a bad life because it first starts with you like making that decision. Hey, am I actually going to do something about my career and my life in general? Because literally like you have the entire control of this whole situation. Like it's not me. It's not your mom, not your dad, not your girlfriend, not your boyfriend. It's just you. Are you going to make the decision today to stop uh, researching what's the best thing to do, watching more videos, watching more day in the life videos of like software developers and actually do what a software developer does to become a software developer yourself? Because trust me, once you are a software developer, you won't be watching videos about how it is to be a software developer because you are already there. Do you know what I mean? So why don't you do from today what a software developer would do, which is creating applications, creating websites, tinkering with 
the projects and the code and whatnot. Playing around, breaking things, creating things, copying, um, remaking things from scratch. That's what you should be doing. That's how you should be spending your time. And now you might be asking, okay, but what if I do a bunch of things and nothing comes out of it? Let me tell you this, even if what you're doing is completely wrong and terrible. I would say doing something that's completely terrible and wrong, doing more of that, it's better than not doing anything at all. And I know that because I was stuck for like six months, literally, doing research and trying to find the perfect course and whatnot. And the problem with these courses that you're seeing online is that they tell you, hey, you should be building stuff. But the problem is that you don't have like an idea of what you should be building. All right, and they don't give you this fail safe mechanism like, hey, I'm stuck, what am I gonna do, right? Because I remember when I was trying to do something from scratch, I was like, oh, I don't know what to do. And then I was like starting a new course from scratch and relearning what a variable is, even though I knew what a variable was. And I was restarting this thing and restarting and then I was just losing time. So you need some sort of like fail proof system where if you attempt doing something, which you should be attempting, if you kind of mess it up, you should get some small hint or some sort of idea of how you should proceed because I can trust that anyone can find a solution for any problem given enough time. Like it's, it's, I really believe that humans have this ability. So you have to figure out how to get that type of support, right? And again, going back to this, this idea that if you do more, you won't get less, bro. Just do more. When you are tired, uh, coming back from home, from work, just do more. If you are getting rejected by recruiters, if you are far ahead, just apply more. Just code more. Just post on Twitter about your stuff. Just call email people. Just do more. There's nothing wrong with doing more, but you just wanna get the benefits without doing the work. And the reality is that Becoming a software developer, it's like quite difficult, okay? It's not a joke, especially right now, because the whole software industry is very matured, okay? And you as a junior developer, you are not bringing any value to any company. No matter what your favorite influencer is saying, you are not bringing that much value, okay? The only value that you can bring is like take off work from a senior developer's plate and making their life easier, okay? That's the value that you're providing. and. To be able to do that, you need to understand how to write code, how to debug code, how to read code. You need to understand these things and these things come from practicing. If the only thing that you've created is like something small, you know, like a small weather app and you're like, hey, this is my application, nobody's gonna take you seriously because any software developer can see that that's not enough. That's a very, 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 like 0.0001% of what you should be doing as a software developer. You should be working on complex applications. And how do you work on complex applications? By working on the same thing for a long period of time. I mentioned this in my, probably all my videos. Uh, that's why I'm saying, just do more. Are you done with your portfolio app? You cannot change your job. You cannot make your job give you more money if in your current field, you cannot get more money. That's like the standard. You cannot get your job or your boss to let you work from home if in your industry everyone has to be on the field. You cannot change that. But the only thing that you can change is yourself, changing your skill set, and in this way you can get a different job, a different outcome. You can be like the creator of your destiny. It sounds very cringe, I know, but that's the reality. Myself, a few years ago, six years ago, I said, you know what, I'm not gonna be working in this coffee shop. I'm not gonna do it. And I've done everything in my power to do it. Every single hour was filled with programming. While I was at work and I had dead time, instead of wasting my time and talking bullshit with my colleagues, I was reading MDN. I was researching a new array method. I was reading some book, whatever. When I was going back home, when I was cycling, I was listening to a podcast about programming. I was just filling all my time to become that developer before I even became the developer. And for me, when I got my first job, I was like, yeah, I just knew it's gonna happen. It wasn't a big deal for me. It just happened because 
I made it happen. I changed myself. And I read a comment a while ago on one of my videos. Uh, this certain subscriber said, you cannot have faith and fear at the same time. So you can choose. Are you going to be fearful of trying something new and actually doing something about it? Or are you going to be going to have faith and you're going to do anything in your power knowing that, hey, eventually I'm going to get there. Eventually I'm going to get there if I do enough or if I do as much as I can or if I push whatever I can to the fucking limit. You know, push those limits because you don't even know what are your limits yet. If you are underpaid and underused, if you are underusing your brain, you don't even know what your capabilities are. You might need to work on your discipline, time management, all this stuff. Like becoming a developer, like changing careers, people just take it very lightheartedly, you know, like, hey, I'm going to change my job, I'm going to become a developer. But in reality, to make a career change, a total shift, if you've been doing the same job for your entire life, it's a very big deal because your brain wants you to be comfortable in your current job, doesn't want you to change. So you need to change who you are inside here before you can change, you know, what's in your uh, pocket, I guess, if you want more money and work remotely and whatnot. Anyway, that's the video for today. Uh, a bit ranty, but I hope you liked it. And yeah, I'll see you in the next one.